El día de hoy voy a estar jugando The Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe. Es un juego. Es un juego. Es literalmente un juego. No sé de qué se trata, pero vi que lo está, estuvieron jugando un montón. Es un juego ya viejo, que salió en 2013, creo que si no me equivoco. Eh, pero ahora hicieron como una remasterización, así que lo voy a jugar. Por favor, elige el título y los subtítulos en español. Elige un nuevo para los subtítulos y el texto en pantalla, español. Confirmar. ¿Jugaste de Stanley y Parable a una vez? No. Ajusta la barra a la izquierda para que, sea, para que la computadora sea apenas visible. Ahí, ¿no? Sí. Introduce la hora actual. Eh. Son las... Son las 11... 20. ¿Por qué me pide el horario? Puedes acceder a la configuración de accesibilidad menú principal, ok. <coughs> ok, acá estamos. Uh, amigo God. Porque miren, es como que la pantalla acá sigue estando acá. What the fuck? Clave. Bueno, inicia la partida. Es un juego re flashero, chat. Creo que es un juego medio flashero. Flashero, flashero. Flashero, digo. This is the story of a man named Stanley. Okay, Leon. Stanley worked for a company in a big building where he was employee number 427. Okay. Employee number 427's job was simple. He sat at his desk in room 427 and he pushed buttons on a keyboard. Orders came to him through a monitor on his desk, telling him what buttons to push, how long to push them, and in what order. This is what employee 427 did every day of every month of every year. And although others might have considered it soul lifting, Stanley relished every moment that the orders came in, as though he had been made exactly for this job. And Stanley was... Stanley era feliz. Okay. Is that and then one day, something very uh -huh. peculiar happened. Something that would forever change Stanley. Something he would never quite forget. He had been at his desk for nearly an hour when he realized that not one single order had arrived on the monitor for him to follow. No one had showed up to give him instructions, call a meeting, or even say hi. Never in all his years at the company had this happened. This complete isolation. Something was very clearly wrong. Shocked, frozen solid, Stanley found himself unable to move the for the longest time. But as he came to his wits and regained his senses, he got up from his desk and stepped out of his office. Ah, para. Go, ya gameplay. Ya gameplay. Okay. Me qué tengo que hacer? All of his co-workers were gone. Todos sus colegas se han ido. ¿A qué podía Stanley haberse? decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps Decid he had simply missed a memo. Decidí ir a la sala de reuniones. Ok, a ver. Yo puedo cuando, cuando hago clic suenan como teclas. Okay. Yo, yo aprieto todo. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, bueno, he entered the door on his left. Yo a su habitación con dos puertas y fue a la puerta izquierda. ¿Qué hubiera? ¿Puerta izquierda o derecha? Derecha o izquierda. Bueno, vamos por la izquierda. Vamos a seguir el, vamos a seguir el narrador. Yet there was not a single person here. No hay nadie aquí. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. Okay, tengo que ir al boss, al, a la habitación, al, a la sala del jefe. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Okay, vamos arriba. 
¿Qué? Ah, alta, alta, alta habitación. El, el jefe. Eh, ¿no parece la del señor Burns? Eh, ¿no parece la del señor Burns? ¿Es igual o no? Es igual a la del señor Burns. Es igualita. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. No hay humanos. Shocked, unraveled, Pasmado, confundido Stanley, Stanley se preguntó quién podría haber orquestado esto. This. What dark secret was being held from him? What he could not have known was that the keypad behind the boss's desk guarded the terrible truth that his boss had been keeping from him. And so the boss had assigned it an Un extra código. secret pin number. 28245 28245 Ah, ya sé que es este juego. Este juego debe jugar con tipo la cuarta pared. Es como que ¿Entendés? El narrador me habla, pero yo puedo hacer lo que quiero en realidad. O sea, es como que si quiero me voy para otro lado. Porque lo, los números no lo sabía yo, pero como lo escuché el narrador, lo escribí yo, ¿entendés? Y dice que no sé qué, de que. De que no sé qué, de. de que. ¿Cómo se dice? Deeper into the building, de que lo adivinó por casualidad. As though he felt more free to think for himself, to question the nature of his job. Why did he feel this now, when for years it had never occurred to him? This question would not go unanswered for long. Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. Escape! Ew! Me escapó! A couple. Although this passageway had the word escape written on it, it the truth was that at the end of this hall, Stanley would meet his violent death. Stanley se encontraría con una muerte violenta. <laughs> ¿Voy, ¿Sigo para adelante o...? Amigo, me dice que voy a morir si voy por acá. <laughs> Pero vamos por acá, ya fue. The door behind him was not shut. La puerta Stanley trana... still had every opportunity to turn around and get back on track. At this point, Stanley was making a conscious, concerted effort to walk forward and willingly confront his death. Voy a morir acá. ¿Qué? As the machine whirred into motion and Stanley was inched closer and closer to his demise, he reflected that his life had been of no consequence whatsoever. No. Stanley can't see the bigger picture. He doesn't know the real story. Trapped forever in his narrow no, vision, me aplastar, me aplastar, me aplastar, me aplastar. perhaps his death was of no great loss, like no, plucking the no. eyeballs from a blind man. No me estaba mintiendo. So he resigned and willingly accepted this violent end to his brief and shallow life. No me estaba mintiendo. Farewell, Stanley. No. What? Farewell, Stanley. Adiós, Stanley. Ritornador. As Stanley was led helplessly into the enormous metal jaws. In a single visceral instant, Stanley was obliterated as the machine crushed every bone in his body, killing him instantly. What? And yet it would be just a few minutes before Stanley would restart the game back in his office as alive as ever. What exactly did the narrator think he was going to accomplish? ¿Terminé un final? ¿Acabo de hacer un final? ¿Acabo de hacer el primer final? When every path you can walk has been created for you long in advance, death becomes meaningless. Making life the same. Do you see now? Do you see that Stanley was already dead from the moment he hit start? Créditos.
Che, qué lugar más lindo, ¿no? Está re lindo este lugar Ese lugar es re lindo Está todo muy limpio <risa> Se ríe Oh, look at these two How they wish to destroy one another How they wish to control one another How they both wish to be free <coughs> Can you see? Can you see how much they need one another? Mejor están uno en otro No, perhaps not Sometimes these things cannot be seen Oh But Listen to me You can still save those two. You can stop the program before they both fail. Push escape and press quit. There's no Escape y salir, me dice. The way to beat this game. As long as you move forward, you'll be walking someone else. ¿Me salgo a menú o empiezo de cero o sigo? Stop now and it'll be your only true choice. A ver qué pasa si muero de vuelta. Don't choose it. Don't let time choose for you. Don't let Morí. ¿Qué? Claro, solo no puedo hacer nada, solo puedo partir escape. Ah, no, ahí está, ahí está, ahí está. ¿What? Eh. But Stanley simply couldn't handle the pressure. Empecé el, el, el... What if he had to make a decision? What if a crucial outcome fell under his responsibility? He had never been trained for that. No. Empecé de vuelta. This couldn't go any way except badly. The thing to do now, Stanley thought to himself, is to wait. Nothing Amigo, will hurt me. Cer cerré la puerta. Nothing will break me. In here I can be happy forever. No, I will be happy. Cerré la puerta y te Stanley creo que es otro, creo que es otro final. Hours passed, then days. Had years gone by? Ay, qué boludo. No had the ability to cerré la puerta y voy a, me quedé atrapado acá para siempre. Sure, beyond any doubt, was that if he waited long enough, the answers would come. Eventually, someday, <coughs> they would arrive. Soon, very soon now, this will end. He will be spoken to. He will be told what to do. Now it's just a little bit closer. Now it's even closer. Here it comes. ¿Qué? ¿Otro final? Ok, ok, ya hice dos finales. What the fuck? Bueno, bueno, vamos para adelante. All of his co-workers were gone. Ah, empezó el juego. Okay, mean? okay. Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Okay, ¿qué les parece si vamos a la izquierda y no vamos al escape? Tipo, vamos directamente a. When Stanley came to a set o sea, vamos por acá doors, y no vamos a escape, porque en escape nos remorimos. Yet there was not a single person here either, feeling a wave of disbelief. Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. What? Acá otra puerta. Okay, no me va a desviar, no me va a desviar, no me va a desviar, no me, no me va a desviar, no me va a desviar. Vamos, vamos, vamos por el camino ese recién. Vamos por el camino. Stepping into his manager's office. Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. ¿Cuál es la ¿Se acuerda? What could it mean? Stanley wondered aloud. ¿Cuál es la contraseña? Dos, dos, ocho, cuatro, cinco. He began wildly tearing through papers on the boss's desk, pulling books off the shelf, looking behind paintings, desperate for clues to his situation. But his attention was caught by a keypad behind the boss's desk. What could Stanley was in such a rush to get through the story as quickly as possible, <coughs> he didn't even have a single minute to just let the no, narrator mira. talk. That kind of anxiety isn't healthy, so he relaxed for a few minutes. Si lo hago rápido me dice que, que no le dejé hablar. God. Y me pone música tranquilizadora por mi ansiedad. Dale, más rápido. No, 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 Feeling soothed and rejuvenated, Stanley calmly walked forward into the opened passageway. Okay. Ahora vamos, en vez de ir por escape, vamos a ir para, vamos a ir para, vamos a ir para la, vamos a ir para adelante. O sea, no vamos a ir a escape.
Porque ahí sabemos que ya morimos. ¿O no? Stanley walk straight ahead through the large door that okay, led like mind control okay. facility. Okay, toca botón. The lights rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. What horrible secret did this place hold? Stanley thought to himself. Did he have the strength to find out? A ver. A ver si tengo la fuerza para descubrirlo. Yo creo que sí, ¿eh? Otro botón. Now the monitors jumped to life. Los monitores. Their true nature revealed. No. Each bore the number of an employee in the building. Stanley's co-workers. The lives of so many individuals reduced to images on a screen, and Stanley, one of them, eternally monitored in this place where Estamos todos monitoreados. nothing. ¿Y esto? This mind control facility, it was too horrible to believe. It couldn't be true. Had Stanley really been under someone's control all this time? Was this the only reason he was happy with his boring job? That his emotions had been manipulated to accept it blindly? No, he refused to believe it. He couldn't accept it. His own life in someone else's control? Never! It was Yo unthinkable, wasn't it? Sure, was it possible? Had he truly spent his entire life utterly blind to the world? But here was the proof, the heart of the operation. Controls labeled with emotions, happy or sad or content. Walking, eating, working, all of it monitored and commanded from this very place. Yeah. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over another human life. For he would dismantle the controls once and for all. What the fuck? Where is that door? Oh, this door doesn't open. No. Oh, salí para allá. Que hay como una puertita ahí. Um. Vamos por acá. Eh, control de mente esperando input. A ver. And when at last he found the source of the room's power, he knew it was his duty, his obligation to put an end to this horrible place and to everything it stood for. On off. On. ¿Le prendo? Lo prendo. O lo apago. Se parece el escenario de los increíbles. Mal, eu. Se parece el escenario de los increíbles. Cuando. Cuando Mr. Increíble busca todos los datos. Eh. On. Ok, on. Oh, Stanley. You didn't just activate the controls, did you? After they kept you enslaved all these years, you go and you try to take control of the machine for yourself. Is that what you wanted? Control? Quería control, sí. Oh, Stanley. I applaud your effort, I really do. But you need to understand, there's only so much that machine can do. You were supposed to let it go, turn the controls off, and leave. If you want to throw my story off track, you're going to have to do much better than that. I'm afraid you don't have nearly the power you think you do. For example, and I believe you'll find this pertinent, Stanley suddenly realized he had just initiated the network's emergency detonation no, system. No, detonación. In the event that this machine is activated without proper DNA identification, no. nuclear detonators are set to explode. Detonar nucleares probamos para explotar y eliminar todo el complejo. Long until detonation, then. Hmm, let's say um, two minutes. Ah, now this is making things a little more fun, isn't it, Stan? It's your time to shine. You are the star. It's your story now. Shape it to your heart's desires. Oh, this is much better than what I had in mind. What a shame we have so little time left to enjoy it. Mere no. moments until the bomb goes off. But what precious moment Pero each puta. one of them is. More time to talk about you, about me, where we're going. What all this means, I barely know where to start. What's that? You'd like to know where your co-workers are? 
A moment oh. of solace before you're obliterated. All right, I'm in a good mood. You're gonna die anyway. I mean, I'll tell you exactly you what happened to them. I erased them. I turned off the machine. I set you free. Of course, that was merely in this instance of the story. Sometimes when I tell it, I simply let you sit there in your office forever, pushing buttons endlessly and then dying alone. I mean, the error is like... Other times, I let the office sink into the ground, swallowing everyone inside, or I let it burn to a crisp. I have to say this, though. This version of events has been rather amusing. Watching you try to make sense of everything and take back the control wrested away from you, it's quite rich. El I hate to, to see it go. But I'm sure whatever I come up with on the next go around Tres. will be even better. My goodness, only 34 seconds left. But I'm enjoying this so much. You know what? To hell with it. I'm going to put some extra time on the clock. Cuatro. Why not? These are precious additional seconds, Stanley. Time doesn't grow on trees. Oh dear me, what's the matter, Stanley? Is it that you have no idea where you're going or what you're supposed to be doing right now? I mean, Monica. And Monica is no kid, no kid. Is it? Timer. Cinco. That something in this room was capable oh, of no. turning it off. I mean, zero, cinco, dos, uno. Running from button to button. No. Screen to screen, clicking on every little thing in this room. These numbered buttons, no, these colored ones, or maybe this big red button, or this door. Everything, anything, something here will save me. Tres. Why would you think that, Stanley? That this video game can be beaten? One solved? Do you have any idea what your purpose in this place is? <laughs> Stanley, you're in for quite a disappointment. But here's a spoiler for you. That timer isn't a catalyst to keep the action moving along. Dos. It's just seconds ticking away to your death. You're only still playing instead of watching a cutscene because I want to watch you for every moment that you're powerless. To see you made humble. This is not a challenge. It's a tragedy. You wanted to control this world, apretar, that's fine. But I'm going to destroy it first. So you Goodbye, can't. employee 427. Take a look at the clock standing. That's 30 segundos. seconds you have left to struggle. 30 seconds until a big boom and then nothing. No, no here, just you being blown to pieces. Will you cling desperately to your frail life? Or will you let it go peacefully? Another choice. Make it count. Or don't. It's all the same to me. All a part of the joke. And believe me, I will be laughing at every second of your inevitable no life from the moment we fade in until the moment I say, Uno. No, explotó todo. ¿Qué? What? ¿Cómo? Ok, otro final. Ay, maldito narrador de mierda, boludo. Eh, bueno, el narrador, el narrador me cae re mal, boludo. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Okay, ¿qué le parece? Eh, ¿Qué le parece? Vamos a la derecha, a la izquierda. Vamos a la derecha. Stanley came to a set of two open doors. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Ah, yes, truly a room worth admiring. But eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. No, no voy a la izquierda. Stanley was so bad at following directions, <coughs> it's incredible he wasn't five years ago. Voy a hacer todo lo contrario. Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. I'm not your enemy, really, I'm not. I realize that investing your trust in someone else can be difficult, but the fact is that the story has been about nothing but you all this time. What? Really? I was in the middle of something. Do you have zero consideration for huh. others? Are you that convinced that I want something bad to happen to you? Why, I don't know how to convince you of this, but I really do want to help you, to show you something beautiful. Look, let me prove it. Let me prove that I'm on your side. Give me a chance. A ver. Now listen carefully, this is important. A ver. Stanley walked through the red door. Aha, perhaps you misunderstood. Stanley walked through the red door. Sí, 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 la pija. I still don't think we're communicating properly. Stanley walked through the red. All right, fine, go ahead, Stanley. 
You want to know so badly what's out there? You want to find out what lies at the end of this road you've chosen? Well, don't let me stop you. All right. You see? There's nothing here. I haven't even finished building this section of the map because you no. were never supposed to be here in the first place. Broken rooms, <coughs> exposed developer textures. Is this what you had wanted? Was it worth ruining the entire story I had written out specifically wow. for you? Do you not think I put a lot of time into that? Because I did. And in the end, it was all for nothing. Because this is what you wanted to see. Help me here, Stanley. Help elucidate these strange and unknowable desires of yours. What would have made this game better? What did you want to see? Vehicles? Skill trees? Work with me. You've given me absolutely nothing so far. Tell you what. Let me take a stab in the dark at a new design and you can give me some feedback. Okay, a ver. There we go. A third option. This already feels leaps ahead of where Vamos we or no? Eh, hey, vamos go or no? Ahead, Stanley. Take it for a spin. ¿Y si vamos por acá? O vamos o no? O no. No, pero lo, lo voy a no, lo voy a de desobedecer. Voy por acá. Ya me dice, ya la. Ah, me olía ir ahí, hijo de pu. Okay, I'm going to stop you there. Now, tell me about your experience with this new version. Okay, me dice... Would you say that the game benefited from allowing you more choices? Que, que... Feel free to be honest. I'm looking for some real critical feedback Mi opinión here. real sobre este juego. Uno, uno. <laughs> A one? I mean, I can understand if you had reservations, you saw ways the game could be improved to more fully express itself mechanically and artistically, but a one? That's sí, not bueno. even helpful. What am I supposed to do with that? Uh, but I guess it isn't my place to judge. Here, based on the data from your previous playthrough, I a partir de la partida anterior he creado una nueva versión. Perfectly candid, I think I've y para, y para it serte sincero, creo que es una obra maestra. Let's take a look. The Stanley Parable. Okay, vamos por la izquierda. Vamos por la izquierda. ¿Eh? Vamos por la izquierda. ¿eh? Now, would you say that competitive leaderboard helped you feel motivated to keep walking through doors? Again, honest answers, please. Siempre uno lo dar. Hey, I nearly forgot. I've got a prototype of a new game I've been working on, and now would be a lovely opportunity to give it some play testing. You wouldn't mind taking a look at it, would you? Perfect. Let me boot it up. Oh, I don't know. In this game, the baby crawls left towards danger. You click the button to move him back to the right, and if he reaches the fire, you fail. It's a very meaningful game, all about the desperation and tedium of endlessly confronting the demands of family life. I think the art world will really take notice. But of course, the message of the game only becomes clear once you've been playing it for about four hours. So why don't you give it four hours of play to make sure it's effective? Be sure to keep notes on your experience. Okay, a ver. Okay, lo voy a dejar morir, a ver. <coughs> You heartless bastard. <laughs> Did you do it because you hate babies or purely to spite me? Because it's the latter. Well, I don't know what to do. I'm completely out of ideas. I can't think of a single thing that might improve the experience for me. I'm not even going to try. I'm out. I'm out. Se I'm done. It's over. Se terminó. Thank you for playing. Your input was extremely valuable. Oh, hey, since my game was so awful, why don't we play someone else's game? Just to ease the pain. Let's see. Joder, otra persona. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, this seems like it'll work. Let's give it a shot. A ver. Hola, Ale, Ale, Hola, Emilio. ¿Y este juego qué es? Ah, fascinating. What do you think this game is about, Stanley? What's our backstory? What is our motivation? Hmm. Well, it seems obvious to me that you are meant to play as a <coughs> creepy man spying on innocent civilians below you from up high in your creep tower, perhaps for some sort of twisted erotic purpose. Hmm. Yes, este juego se volvió raro. ¿Qué onda, what boludo? a fascinating venture into the experience of total mental depravity. What the fuck? So far, I love everything about this game, Stanley. And it seems there's even more. Come, let's venture outward and see what else is out there. Veamos que hay afuera. Eh, se escuchó la puerta de Minecraft. Se escuchó como la puerta de Minecraft, ¿o no? Bien, cloro. No quiero salir, no le quiero hacer caso al narrador. El narrador me cae mal ahora. 
Vale, vale, vale. Era mi única opción. Ah, qué paja, tengo que dar toda la vuelta. Qué paja, boludo. ¿Qué es este juego, chat? Yo estaba jugando un juego. No, 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 no puede ser. What? It is. It's an open world es un juego de mundo abierto. God, quickly, block it off. No. Oh, thank goodness, Stanley. What a close call. You nearly wandered off into that that thing. ¿Por qué cosa? Open, just wandering around, no right or wrong directions, no path to follow. You can just go in any. Oh, 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 thank heavens we avoided it. What? We're out of the woods now, Stanley. Okay, I'm going to get us out of here. Let's find another game. Otro Preferably juego. Preferably something with walls. Something with nice, big, insurmountable walls. <laughs> okay, I think this will be just the thing. A ver, ¿qué juego? ¿Qué juego nos lleva? Rocket League. Wonderful. See, this is exactly what I had in mind. Just a nice big box for you to run around in. There isn't any possibility that you could get lost here. Now this is game design. Stanley, if you manage to get lost in this game, I will be phenomenally impressed. Rocky League. Okay, so what exactly do we do here? Let's see. There are lots of cars here in the back, but obviously there's no racetrack. Okay, I'm seeing that there's a ball of some kind back here. Is this game sports ball? Stanley, I think it's sports ball. Oh, what fun. Deporte pelota. We shall run the bases and do a touchdown together. Yes, I think surely we must. Okay, Stanley, here's the ball. Have a ver, la pelota. Me da la pelota. Oh! Oh! A mí me estoy jugando a Rocky League, literal. Oh, no. Metemos gol. Are you doing it? Are you winning? Is this fun? Is it better than my miserable little story that I worked so hard on? Stanley, I... Hold on. What are you doing? A la mierda. A la mierda... Oh! A la mierda narrador. Stanley, don't do that. I can't follow you there. I can't help you. Oh! How will you write a story without me? You can't do it. You know that. Stanley, come back. Oh, el narrador. Se fue el narrador. Se fue el narrador. What? No me la conté que se volvió un juego de terror. Hay una luz. No, no hay nada acá. No, acá no hay nada. ¡Ah! 4.27. O sea, ese soy yo. Ah, es como una versión antigua del juego. ¿Eh? I wonder what he found. ¿Qué habrá encontrado? If what he wanted was to be the leading man in his own story, well, perhaps he's gotten it. Down in wherever he is right now. I wonder if he's happy with his choice. And if he's learned the heavy cost that comes with it. He'll understand soon what I was trying to tell him. He needs me. Someone who will wrap everything up at the end to make sense out of the chaos and the fear and the confusion. That's who I am. That is what I mean to this world. Oh, yes. Yes, I'll be back. There's no other way. Once this ends, after it all comes to a close, then I'll be back. The end will be here soon. El final será pronto. Very soon. Oh, está bueno este juego, eh? Oh, está bueno este juego, ¿no? ¿Qué les parece? The end is near. No, arrancó todo de vuelta. 
¿Qué hacemos ahora? ¿Qué intentamos? ¿Qué intentamos? All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Oh. Stan had decided. ¿Les parece si hacemos el final de tipo apagar las luces? Tipo, en vez de poner on en el coso del control mental, ponemos off. ¿Les parece? Go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. ¿Este lugar es diferente o no? Ah, no, 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 es diferente, no es diferente. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, a la he entered the door on his left. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. ¿Y esta? Money in the morning, money in the evening, morning for breakfast, money crisps. What the fuck? Okay, I think we all know the drill by now. Blah blah blah. Dark secrets, the keypad, Stanley pushes some buttons. Oh hey, look, it's a new passageway. No, mira. Mira, lo, lo hace de una el, el, el narrador, God, God, Evo, God. Tipo, no, no tuve que poner el código, no tuve que poner el código y ya me dijo de pasar. Interesante, inter interesante. Interesante. Ok. Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. Ok, volvemos acá. Hay que apretar off ahora. No, ahora no, después, más después. The lights rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. What horrible secret did this place hold? Stanley thought to himself. Did he have the strength to find out? Pasamos rápido. Now the monitors jumped to life. Oh my god. Their true nature revealed. Each bore the number of an employee in the building. Oh my Stanley's god. Co-workers. The lives of so many individuals reduced to images on a screen. And Stanley, one of them, eternally monitored in this place where freedom meant nothing. This mind control facility. It was too horrible to believe. It couldn't be true. Had Stanley really been under someone's control all this time? Was this the only reason he was happy with his boring job? That his emotions had been manipulated to accept it blindly? No, he refused to believe it. He couldn't accept it. His own life in someone else's control? Never! It was unthinkable, wasn't it? Was it even possible? Had he truly spent his entire life utterly blind to the world? Okay. But here was the proof, the heart of the operation. Controls labeled with okay, emotions. Okay, acá está el control de las emociones y todo eso. Sad, content, y lo pago, a ver, lo voy a pagar. Eating, working, all of it monitored and commanded from this very place. Okay, sí. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible... Off. Este es el final que quiere el narrador, a ver. Blackness. Oscuridad. And a rising chill of uncertainty. <coughs> Was it over? Yes. He had won. He had defeated the machine. Unshackled himself from someone else's command. Freedom was mere moments away. And yet. Even as the immense door slowly opened, what? Stanley reflected on how many puzzles still lay unsolved. Where had his co-workers gone? How had he been freed from the machine's grasp? What other mysteries did this strange building hold? But as sunlight streamed into the chamber, he realized none of this mattered to him. For it was not knowledge or even power that he had been seeking, but happiness. 
Nos escapamos de la mentalidad de, de que nos controla la mente. ¿Dónde se fueron mis compañeros y todo eso? What to do or how to feel. Whatever life he lives, it will be his. Oh. And that was all he needed to know. It was perhaps the only thing worth knowing. Stanley stepped through the open door. ¿Sí, si vuelvo para atrás? ¿O que no puedo volver para atrás? Che, igual eso es de cartón o no? Ah, no, es verdad, es verdad. Pensé que la, la casa de allá era de cartón. Parecía como de cartón o no. Stanley felt the cool breeze upon his skin. The feeling of liberation. The immense possibility of the new path before him. This was exactly the way, right now, that things were meant to happen. And Stanley was happy. Final feliz. Happy ending. Happy ending. Ah, terminé el juego. Este fue el happy ending. Bueno. Bueno, volvimos. Eh, bueno, no sé. En vez de subir las escaleras, bajar las escaleras. A ver, ¿qué dicen? Al inicio de la oficina, andar a la izquierda y intentar salir por la ventana de la derecha subiendo a la mesa. A ver. Ahora vamos a intentar esa. Me deja esto nomás. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. What? Pero me deja estos dos nomás. Me deja estos dos ahora. Tipo, no, no está el coso de antes. Bueno. Vamos por acá entonces. Eh, dicen que baje por la escalera. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided oh. to go up to his boss's office. Stanley stepped into the broom closet, but there was nothing here, so he turned vale. around and got back on track. Bajo las escaleras. A ver, bajo las Coming escaleras. to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Se imaginan que se imaginan que están todos mis mis compañeros secuestrados acá abajo. But Stanley just couldn't do it. He considered the possibility of facing his boss, admitting he had left his post during work hours. He might be fired for that. And in such a competitive economy, why had he taken that risk? All because he believed everyone had vanished. His boss would think he was crazy. And then something occurred to Stanley. Maybe, he thought to himself, Quizás, maybe I am crazy. No, All es infinito. Blinking mysteriously out of es un backroom esto. A single moment for no reason at all. Nothing <coughs> made any logical sense. Un... And as Stanley no. pondered this, he began to make other strange observations. For example, why couldn't he see his feet when Mal. he looked down? ¿Por qué no puedo mirar mis why did doors close automatically behind him wherever he went? And for Mal. that matter, these rooms were starting to look pretty familiar. Were they simply repeating? No, Stanley said to himself, this is all too strange, this can't be real. And at last, he came to the conclusion that had been on the tip of his tongue. He just hadn't found the words for it. I'm dreaming! Estoy soñando. He yelled. This is all a dream. Oh, what a relief Stanley felt to have finally found an answer, an explanation. His co-workers weren't actually gone. He wasn't going to lose his job. He wasn't crazy after all. And he thought to himself, I suppose I'll wake up soon. I'll have to go back to my boring real-life job pushing buttons. I may as well enjoy this while I'm still lucid. So, he imagined himself flying and began to gently float above the ground. Oh! Then he imagined himself soaring through space on a magical star field. And it too appeared. It was so much fun. And Stanley marveled that he had still not woken up. Estaba en un sueño. How was he remaining so lucid? O sea, este final es un sueño. And then perhaps the strangest question of them all entered Stanley's head. One he was amazed he hadn't asked himself sooner. Why is there a voice in my head dictating everything that I'm doing? Mal, el narrador. Now the voice was describing itself being considered by Stanley, who found it particularly strange. I'm dreaming about a voice describing me Thinking about how it's describing my thoughts, he thought. And while he thought it all very odd, and wondered oh. if this voice spoke to all people in their dreams, 
The truth was that, of course, this was not a dream. How could it be? Was Stanley simply deceiving himself, believing that if he's asleep, he doesn't have to take responsibility for himself? Stanley is as awake right now as he's ever been in his life. Hey, Pierto. Now, hearing the voice speak these words was quite a shock to Stanley. After all, he knew for certain, beyond a doubt, that this was in fact a dream. Did the voice not see him float and make the magical stars just a moment ago? How else would the voice explain all that? This voice was a part of himself too, surely, surely, if he could just... He would prove it. He would prove that he was in control. What that the fuck? this was a dream. So he closed his eyes gently, and he invited himself to wake up. Okay, cerramos los ojos. He felt the cool weight of the blanket on his skin, the press of the mattress on his back, the fresh air of a world outside this one. Let me wake up, he thought to himself. I'm through with this dream. I wish it to be over. Let me go back to my job. Let me continue pushing the buttons. Please, it's all I want. I want my apartment and my wife, and my job. All I want is my life exactly the way it's always been. My life is normal. I am normal. Everything will be fine. I am okay. What the fuck? No, see you again. No, no, sueño. See you again. Stanley began screaming. Please, someone, wake me up. My name is Stanley. I have a boss. I have an office. I am real. Please, just someone tell me I am real. I must be real. I must be. Can anyone hear my voice? <coughs> Who am I? Who am I? And everything went black. What? Que carajos? This is the story of a woman named Mariella. Mariella? ¿Qué pasa con Mariela? Mariela woke up on a day like any other. She arose, got dressed, gathered her belongings, and walked to her place of work. But on this particular day, her walk was no. interrupted by the body of a man Stanley who had walked through town talking and screaming to himself. And then Estaba loco, estaba loco Stanley. And although she would soon turn to go call for an ambulance, for just a few brief moments, she considered the strange man. He was obviously crazy. This much she knew. Everyone knows what crazy people look like. And in that moment, she thought to herself how lucky she was to be normal. I am sane. I am in control of my mind. I know what is real and what isn't. It was comforting to think <coughs> this, and in a certain way, seeing this man made her feel better. But then she remembered the meeting she had scheduled for that day. The very important people whose impressions of her would affect her career, and by what? extension, the rest of her life. She had no time for this, so it was only a moment that she stood there, staring down at the body. Voy a dejarme mirarme, dejarme mirarme, Mariela. Anda, corre, andate. Déjame morir tranquilo. Okay, conseguimos otro final. Okay, perfecto, conseguimos otro final. Okay, vamos a conseguir uno más. Vamos a hacer uno más que va a ser el de ir al ascensor del jefe. ¿Me parece? All of his were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting. Vamos al ascensor del jefe. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. A ver qué es lo que pasa. ¿Qué es lo que pasa? ¿Qué es lo que pasa? When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. ¿Eh? Ya me abrió la puerta de una, mira. <laughs> ya a, 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 <laughs> al narrador le chupa un huevo ya. <laughs> A ver. Vamos para arriba. Ok.
¿Pero seguimos acá? ¿Pero seguimos acá o no? Ahora vamos para abajo No, ¿qué? No, no, eso, no, no, no conseguimos un final, creo, yendo para allá. Here's the door, just go. Bueno, acá qué podemos hacer, gente. Acá qué más podemos hacer. Como para. Como para conseguir otro final. ¿Qué podemos hacer, gente? ¿Alguien tiene alguna idea? Pues ya hicimos todo. Ya hicimos todo. Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. Acá ya fuimos. Hacer el caso al narrador, ya hice, ya hice, ya hice. Ya hice lo que dice el narrador y ya hice lo que... The lights rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. What horrible lo negro. secret did this place hold? Stanley thought to himself. Did he have no me puedo tirar lo negro. To find out? Me pongo la puerta roja la primera. Ok. Now the monitors jump to life. Their true nature revealed. Oh my god. The number of an oh my god. In the building. Stanley's co-workers. Oh my the god. Lives of so many individuals reduced to images on a screen. Dale, dale, va rápido. One of them eternally monitored in this place where freedom meant nothing. This mind control facility, it was too horrible to believe it couldn't be true. <coughs> Had Stanley really been under someone's control all this time? Was this the only reason he was happy with his boring job? That his emotions had been manipulated to accept it blindly? No, he refused to believe it. He couldn't accept it. His own life in someone else's control? Never! It was unthinkable, wasn't it? Was it even possible? Had he truly spent his entire life utterly blind to the world? Okay, acá, acá debe haber algo. Acá debe haber algo que, que no entiendo. Controls labeled with emotions. Acá se debe poder hacer algo, chat. Or sad, or content, walking, eating, working, all of it monitored and commanded. Ah, pero está apagado, está apagado, está apagado. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over another human life. Okay, lo puedo prender. Okay, le doy a on. Si le doy a on, me da tiempo, me da tiempo para. Si le doy a on, me da tiempo para para escapar. Pero no sé qué tengo que apretar. Si aprieto on, qué tengo que hacer, gente, si cuando aprieta on. ¿Alguien sabe qué tengo que hacer cuando apriete on? Didn't just activate the controls. Did you? After they kept you enslaved all these years, you go and you try to take control of the machine for yourself. Is that what you wanted? Control? Oh, Stanley, I applaud your effort. I really do. But you need to understand. There's so much that machine You were supposed to let it go, turn the controls off, and leave. If you want to throw my story off track, you're going to have to do much better than that. I'm afraid you don't have nearly the power you think you do. For example, and I believe you'll find this pertinent, Stanley suddenly realized he had just initiated the network's emergency detonation system. In the event that this machine is activated without proper DNA identification, the detonators are set to explode, eliminating the entire complex. How long until detonation then? Mm, let's say... Um, Two minutes. Ahorita. Ah, now this is making things a little more fun, isn't it, Stanley? It's your time to shine. You are the star. Ay, se cerró. It's no, your no, se, story se abrió. now. Shape it to your heart's desires. Oh, this is much better than what I had in mind. What a shame we have so little time left to enjoy it. No, yes, sir. Mere moments until the bomb goes off. But what precious moments each one of them is. More time to talk about you, about me, Tres. where we're going. What all this means? I barely know where to start. What's that? You'd like to know where your co-workers are? Incorrect. A moment of solace before you're obliterated. Incorrect. 
All right, I'm in a good mood. Incorrect. You die anyway. I'll tell you exactly what happened to them. I erased them. I turned off the machine. I set you free. Of course, that was merely in this instance of the story. Sometimes when I tell it, I simply let you sit there in your office forever, pushing buttons endlessly and then dying alone. Other times, I let the office sink into the ground, swallowing everyone inside, or I let it burn to a crisp. ¿Qué I have to say this, though. This version of events has been Tres. rather amusing. Watching you try to make sense of everything and take back the control wrested away from you, it's quite rich. I almost hate to see it go. But I'm sure whatever I come up with on the next go around will be even better. My goodness, only 34 seconds left. But I'm enjoying this so much. You know what? To hell with it. I'm going to put some extra time on the clock. Why not? These okay. are precious additional seconds, yes. Stanley. Time doesn't grow yes. on trees. Oh dear me, what's the matter, Stanley? Is it that you have no idea where you're going or what you're supposed to be doing right now? Or did you just assume you when you saw that timer that Orange. something in this room was capable of turning it off? I mean, look at you. Running from button to button, Incorrecto. screen to screen, clicking on every little thing in this room. These numbered buttons, no, these colored ones, or maybe this big red button, or this door. Everything, no, what anything, the fuck? something here will save me. Why would you think that, Stanley? That this video game what? can be beaten? Oh. One solved? Do you have any oh, idea no. what your purpose in this place is? But you really believe there's an answer? How many times will you replay this bit, looking desperately for a solution? Ten, a hundred, a thousand? No. I look forward to finding out and to watching the bomb go off each time you fail. Just you and me and the wretching explosion of fire and metal over and over and over for all of eternity. And Stanley died again. And Stanley died again. And Stanley died again. Take a look at the clock, Stanley. That's 30 seconds you have left to struggle. 30 seconds until a big boom and then nothing. No ending here. Just you being blown to pieces. Will you cling desperately to your frail life? Or will you let it go peacefully? 15. Another choice. 14. Make it count. Or don't. It's all the same to me. All a part of the joke. And believe me, I will be laughing at every second of your inevitable life from the moment we fade in no, until the moment I say happily ever after. Ah. Oh. oh. Bueno, morimos, boludo. Bueno. Creo que voy a dejar eh, estos finales hasta acá. Capaz iba jugando para ver qué otros finales hay, pero bueno, estos son los finales que conseguí yo. Así que nada, estuvo bueno el juego, eh. Me la pasé muy bien, me divertí mucho jugándolo.